Today we're going to turn another bandsaw box, kind of. <laughs> I'll show you that. I did a little bit of bandsaw work on the drawer. but um, And I, I'll show you too how I, um, if you don't process the wood and don't get the heart out, how, how bad it starts to crack in a little amount of time. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, um, I did a video a couple weeks ago on uh, getting the wood ready to dry. Um, and I just wanted to show you, I left this piece um, whole and just set it out, out right outside the shop. And I went ahead and left the other side of the one that I cut the heart out of. And you can see, there's not, not a crack in it. And I didn't didn't paint it yet. I just left it out there to just kind of show you what, what it would actually do. There's not a crack in it. This one, on the other hand, is split all the way around. There's not a not a side on it you're going to be able to use here in another couple of weeks. It's you know it'll just keep going right right into it. Um, so that's why you should get the heart out as fast as you can. Um, some woods like uh, like a cherry wood, it'll literally you'll cut it down and half an hour later it'll already start to split on you. So. Depending on uh, what type of wood it is, you need to get it processed and, and uh, paint it up as fast as you can. But when we're done, what we're going to do is run this down. But we don't want it to bust through the sides right here. So I went ahead and took my compass and put a circle on there. And then drop this down to, to, to where it leaves a little bit of material on each side here. Can you see that? So we're going to leave about a quarter of an inch on each side, and we're just going to come down straight down from the top. So when we put on turn it, we don't bust through the side here. So let's just go ahead and come in, and we just want it centered in there so it's not doesn't come out on one side or the other. And then we're just going to drill straight down through it. We have a, our hole down the center, and so then we're going to go ahead and mount it on the lathe and true it up. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and I have it centered in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and true it up. Gonna turn a tenon down here. Let's go ahead and grab it. We'll go ahead and make this the bottom here. So we can basically do whatever we want, you know, from this point out with the box we just have to leave leave the center so i'm just gonna make a i guess just a little squatty squatty one so let's go ahead and do that i'm just gonna go ahead and shape it it's just a fingernail gouge going to bring this down right here. Just want to stay away from that that edge there.
there we go. I think I'm going to just stick with that shape right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and sand it up with my paste wax and mineral oil. And just kind of hand sand this area in here so you're not pulling too much material away from that. Just like on the, on the other one we did. So... Alright, just finishing up with uh, 600. You can just let it go across that, that hole there too on this. This isn't taking much off at all, it's just kind of buffing it. But just be careful, don't get your finger stuck in that hole. Snap it right now. So I was thinking when I was turning this, I probably should have done the drawer first um, and slid it down in there and sanded it so it so it fits in there nice and tight and it rounds it over as you were sanding the rest of it. You could do the drawer face too. Um, maybe next time. But let's go ahead and part it off and then I'll do the drawer. So there we go. Just put a little, little bit of detail there, cup that out just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and uh, put another, I'm gonna, I think I have some, I don't know, I'll have to see what else I have. Maybe some redwood. All right, I did find a piece of redwood that'll work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and true it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down to fit fit in there. I'm going to leave just a little bit of slack in case it, the wood swells once you bring it in the house. But let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to use my calipers to, to bring it down. Then just go ahead and bring it down to that diameter. I'm gonna go ahead and come back in here. Use my depth gauge. So when you're you're marking this. This is going to be your your furthest point out. So just go ahead and look, give it a little bit extra. You know, like that. Okay. So we only need a, need a little piece of this. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and work on that area right there. There we go, and just sanded it up. Uh, I mean, and then you don't have the, the bandsaw lines coming in. Um, it's kind of hard to get a box to fit really nice with the, um, with uh, doing it with the bandsaw, but that, you can turn it right down to your, whatever size it is. Um, the other thing I, I thought about when I was um, just sanding it up there, um, I could have just turned, or I, maybe I still can, I'm gonna try to, but um, turn the pole out of this. 
I'm just going to go ahead and try and bring this down. Um, I'm going to mark it right here and bring it down so it'll fit in there and then I'll just have a little bit of sanding to do on the sides here and use this as the pole. I mean, I'll bring it down a little bit. That's too big, but you know what I mean. So, look at that. Very nice. I was also thinking, you can make a bigger one, um, taller, and have a you have this drawer here, have a drawer on this side, have a drawer on this side, and just go up with them and you can actually make it like a puzzle. You know, cup out a, a spot in here, so when you slide it down in here, this drawer coming in from the side actually runs through the middle of, of this drawer. So you, you couldn't get that drawer out until this one came out, and you could do a, like a little puzzle. So one drawer had to come out before the next, but that was just something I was thinking about. Be back up. And you're still gonna need to, to bring these corners down a little bit when you Get it back on the lathe. Or maybe not. It may, may look alright sticking out a little bit. I just want to try and make the drawer pull out of this. Just finishing up here. All right. I'm gonna cut that off on the bandsaw. Um, and while I was sending it up, I was thinking about something else. I just seem to have a lot of random thoughts running through my head. Um. <laughs> You could actually just turn this as the box, you know, um, make this the base, make this the lid here. Um, so you just pull it out and then this is a, this is a box, um, instead of cutting it out on the bandsaw. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and, and cut the, the drawer out now. So we're just going to put a small little mark there and then, which means we need to come in here, um, a little bit to, so that we leave enough face on it. All right. There we go. Cleaned up real nice on the on the sander. I'm just going to go ahead and glue the ends back on there and we'll put it back in. All right, there we go. Um, got it all glued up. And like I said before, you could actually just turn these out of uh, or just make it actually a box and you know make it a little bit taller. Put some different ones in, different sizes too. So, but thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.